Registration for this year's run can be done at Foodies, GPO, Food Court, Aganya, Barragata, and Micronesia Mall, it and &E Main Office in Harmon, and Guam Regional Medical City Customer Service. The turnaround is going to be at the end of Fujita Road and then come right back. And so this is a start and finish at Epa Beach Park. And so we have a bubble machine right in the beginning. Um, and then there will be two bubble machines in each of the water stations. Um, these are gluten-free um, and safe uh, bubbles. Showtime for the run is at 5.15 a.m. with go time scheduled for six. T-shirts, awards to the top finishers along with refreshments and raffle prizes distributed post-race. Grand prize for the run. One United round trip ticket between Guam and Micronesia, Japan, Shanghai, Hong Kong, or Manila. We collaborated with uh, IPE &E and ITE. One hundred percent of the proceeds for this bubble run will go to American Cancer Society's uh, research for cancer. This is a signature event uh, for GRMC uh, for Relay for Life, and we hope that uh, it's a good turnout, just like it was last year. Entry fees are ten dollars per person. 35 for a group of four, and will go up to $15 per person on race day. 346 competitors took part in the Trench Kids Obstacle Course held at the Guam International Raceway Park in Jigo. The course consisting of a rope climb, the big catch, wall ramp, tunnels, battle crawl, ninja steps, mud pit, reverse slide through a tunnel, Titan inflatable, and for the older kids, there was a wall traverse. We have a little bit of experience with, with our uh, adult event and we wanted to make something more uh, kid friendly so we did uh, come up with some uh, some obstacles that were uh, easier um, but yet at the same time uh, fun. Kids ages 4 to 11 took on the course that was held on the motocross track. At the finish line each competitor was greeted and treated to a finisher's medal, refreshments, Hafaloha participant dry fit t-shirt and awards for the top three boys and girls finisher in each division. The overall result of the event was fantastic. I, it looks like all the parents had fun, especially the kids. They had a lot of fun out there. After Trench Kids, the stations of KUAM held a free to the public Easter egg hunt. Prizes were given out to all of the kids, as well as those who found the most eggs. We had uh, food vendors like Stax, uh, we had Hafaloha, we had Lynn's Barbecue, we have uh, uh, Marisol's and uh, Hoffa Day Lemonade and Monkey Pops. They were out here. We had KOEM's uh, Extreme Easter Egg Hunt. Uh, they call it Extreme because we're doing it on uh, extreme terrain. So that seemed like it was a very good turnout as well. GBA Hoops now from Teason High School. UOG Triton stepping onto the court to face the auto spot Phoenix. Triton swinging the ball around. George Piolo attacking the basket. Ball rims out. My boy Destin fights with the rebound and put back for two of his 12 in the game. Phoenix looking to feed the ball inside to Tristan Tapia. Shot baseline off glass is a no-go. John Gregory cleaning up around the rim for the score. UOG's AJ Carlos put up 14. Carlos shooting 50% from the outside. Money ball is good for three. The UOG Tritons pick up their first win in two seasons, 77 to 61 over the auto spot Phoenix. Ryan Nagalta, 17 points in the dub. Romeo Sanchez with 13 in his team's losing effort. The MVP stars stay unbeaten behind their 109 95 win against Mac Tech. JP Cruz, 52 points, 8 of 15 from three point range. Joe Bloss added 26. Jonathan Triplett, 19 in the loss for Mac Tech. Last game of the day, KFC Bombers big win 90-64 over the Tooth Fairies. Raheem Trayon led all scorers of the win with 24. Edgardo Baza and Alfredo Royster both with 15 in their team's loss.